Welcome to the AACS Daily News. In October, state Senate candidate Paul Feeney won a special election to replace former Senator Jim Timulty. Senator Feeney now represents much of Bristol and Norfolk counties, including half of Attleboro. He recently stopped by our studio to talk about the issues he's working on at the State House. My name is Paul Feeney. I'm your new state senator here in Attleboro. I split the city with Senator Ross. Uh, first, I just want to thank everybody in the city of Attleboro uh, for supporting me, for making me your new state senator. I'm thrilled uh, to represent this proud city. I uh, just got sworn in a few weeks ago. We've really hit the ground running. We're working on some important legislation up at the State House. But really, for me, it's just about coming down and building relationships with uh, the, the people of Attleboro and making sure that, uh, that you know how to reach me. You know, we want to make sure that if you can't make it to Beacon Hill to advocate for the things that are important to you, that we're bringing Beacon Hill to you, to the city of Attleboro. We have office hours that we're setting up in the coming days. I ask you to please check in the newspaper, read the Sun Chronicle, check here, check here at AACS. We'll make sure that we publish uh, all of our office hours so that you can come out, weigh in on all sorts of important issues, uh, or to just simply come by and meet us and say hello. Uh, my staff will be here as well so that we can make sure that we're taking care of all the individual needs of the people of Attleboro as well as partnering, partnering with the House delegation, uh, with our outgoing state representative Paul Harrow, uh, with the outgoing mayor, uh, and as well as helping in that transition as much as we can. A lot of exciting things happening here in Attleboro and I want to make sure that you have a partner in state government, uh, in the state senate, to carry on the legacy of Senator Jim Timothy, who's done so much for this city uh, and in this district. So upon getting sworn in to the state Senate, we worked on uh, a couple of big issues. We had a, an omnibus uh, health care bill, uh, which we changed a lot of the, the regulations and, and kind of payments to make sure that we were leveling the playing field for community hospitals uh, and really just, you know, t making sweeping reforms for health care to make sure that not only is it more accessible to people that need it, but it's more affordable. We should be leading the way here in Massachusetts, and I think we took a big step forward uh, just days after I got sworn in, I was proud to, to vote uh, on that health care bill and the many amendments that made that e an even better bill. We're going to have a very busy spring. I know once we get back into formal session in January, there's a lot of different bills that we're going to be working on. Hopefully we'll see some, some movement on the opioid uh, bill that the governor just uh, proposed. Again, it's a crisis that's affecting not only the city of Attleboro, but 351 cities and towns throughout the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. It's important to me. I know it's important to a lot of people uh, in this city and throughout the district that we get moving on something, that we, that we find real reforms, that we institute real changes and real reforms so that people that need the help or that seek the help can find the help and that can afford the help. So we'll be working on that. Hopefully, when we get back into formal session in January, Hopefully we'll start to do some uh, in the way of education reform, and then it's going to be budget time. So we want to make sure that we're getting everything that we can for the city, city of Attleboro through the budget process uh, to make sure that we're a partner in the Intermodal Transportation Center, transit-oriented development, and all sorts of great things that we're going to see throughout the city. So I don't think I took a normal path to the state senate. Uh, I'm a working guy. I've worked in the private sector for the last 20 years. I've been a telephone guy, uh, technician for the phone company, and always been involved in kind of activism and making sure that we're sticking out for people, that we're fighting for people, that we're fighting for jobs. I've always been somebody that's, you know, stood up for people in our community. I served as a selectman in Foxborough and got to see kind of the other side of the table and how decisions made at state government affect us in our communities. I've been blessed to have a, a middle-class life because of the people around me, the hard work uh, of, of my family. You know, I've been in a great opportunity and I want to make sure that those opportunities don't disappear. You know, too often these good paying American jobs, these good opportunities for middle class taxpayers, they've gone the way of the blacksmith. We can't allow that. We need somebody in the state senate who's going to fight for those opportunities. Uh, that's why I ran. That's why I ran. Again, I'm proud to be a state senator. I want you to reach out to my office if you need anything at all at 617 722 one two 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 we're in room 507 in the state house or you can always reach me any time of the day and night on email at paul.feeney that's f-e-e-n-e-y at masenate.gov that's it for today's update for double acs news i'm austin ricketts